What's going on you guys? How is everybody doing today? Today is a good day because I have something really exciting to share with you guys. So a few days ago, I was scrolling through Instagram Reels, the new feature, which really sucks me in a lot, but I found this video where someone actually placed a mirror on top of the laptop keyboard, bent the screen over, and then played whatever was on the screen and it reflected off of the mirror. And then they just placed a product, I think it was a watch, on top of the mirror and they took photos of it. So this was a really cool effect and I think it'll be really awesome to try and share with you guys. So what we need to do is we need to go find a mirror, a product, and then we need to get my laptop out which is behind me here. I think it's a bit too big. Still a little bit too big. I think this mirror here would just be a perfect size, but it looks like I'm gonna need a screwdriver to actually get it off. Hold on. Got one. So I got it off. Let's go ahead, take this back upstairs, put it on the computer. Okay, so we've got the mirror now on the keyboard of the computer. You guys can definitely see that. You can also definitely see that it's reflecting my computer background already. So that means that we know that's gonna work. We just need to find a product and then we need to find a video background that will serve as the photo background for the product. Oh guys, look what I found. I found a ring. I think this will be perfect for the shoot. So let's go ahead and take this back upstairs. Okay guys, so I found the ring and I think it's just gonna be perfect for the photo. It'll look awesome on the mirror. Now all we need to do is go find a video background on YouTube and then get the camera out and then start taking the photos. So I've chosen the background on YouTube. It's a fireplace that goes for about 10 hours, which means we have lots of time to get this right even though we'll probably be switching up the background for just a, a variation of different shots. I've also got the Sigma 85 out with the, the camera. So that means we can go ahead, start taking some photos. So we've taken some photos with the fire background and they look really awesome so far. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch up the background and I'm also gonna go get some water and put it on top of the mirror. I think it might create a really cool reflection effect. I'm not too sure how it'll look, but we'll give it a try. So I took all the photos that I wanted to get, I think, and I actually ended up taking some of the photos on the GH4, which you guys are actually in right now. I'll explain more of that in a minute here, but for now, I'm gonna go edit those photos and then I guess I will catch back up with you guys when I'm done. <sighs> so that's all the editing done. Let's go ahead, take a look at what we got. First photo here is with the 85 mil and it's on the, the fire background. What I did is I actually ended up putting blue tack or whatever you call it, sticky tack, underneath the ring so it would like kind of stay up in an upright position. And I just thought this looked better than if it were just laying flat on the mirror. I added quite a large amount of vignette and uh, really made the ring stand out. This next one here is with the water on the mirror and this one might be my favorite actually. The water creates this really cool reflection and if you look really close, you can see like all the ink in the water drops. And again, the ring really stands out because I created those adjustment layers on it. Yeah, probably my favorite shot right here. So the next two photos here were actually shot on the 25 mil on the GH4. And that's because when I was taking the photos on the Sigma 85, I actually realized that the nearest focus point was actually like almost a meter away. 
So that means I had to stand almost a meter away whilst taking the photo. At the time, I wasn't really sure how they would turn out because I had to zoom in a lot in the editing, but they actually turned out okay. I think the quality is good enough. But with the GH4, the nearest focus point is a lot closer. So I was able to actually get right up close to the ring and uh, take some really good shots. So those are all the photos that I took today with the mirror reflection hack. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go down below, hit the like button, go subscribe, and also go follow me on Instagram. I post all of my photos there and I interact with you guys the most there as well. And if you do take some photos like this, go ahead and show me. I wanna see what you guys got. And with that said, I will be seeing you in the next one.